In this video, we're going to show that if A is rho equivalent to B and B in turn is rho equivalent to C, then A is rho equivalent to C, the transitive property. The proof is by definition. A is rho equivalent to B means there exist elementary matrices E1, E2, E3 up to E sub n such that A is equal to E1, E2, up to E n times B. B is rho equivalent to C means there exist elementary, let's call them row matrices, elementary row matrices, let's call them something, let's call them, I don't know, R1, R2, up to Rm, such that B is equal to R1, R2, up to Rm times C. Then A is equal to E1, E2, up to En times B, which is E1, E2, up to En times any other way of writing B, which is this way, R1, R2, up to Rm times C. But this is nothing more than E1, E2, up to En, R1, R2, up to Rm times C. That is, if you multiply C by a number of elementary row matrices, you get back A. This implies that A is row equivalent to C by definition. All I did was use definitions. Knowing your definitions can make their proofs much, much easier. This completes this proof. If you like quick proofs like this, subscribe to my channel. All I do on this, our channel, is make up videos for theorems, which I prove. Leave a comment and continue to watch and learn. That's how you do math and you practice on your own.